hello guys welcome back once again and in our previous video we have seen about the default state of node modules which is shared and in this video we will see how to implement an object factory which means basically you will allocate uh, a separate memory for each and every js file which includes a particular module uh, so let us go and modify the existing files so here uh, module.expose as an object so instead of an object what we have to do is we will write a function and this function internally will return a new object so turn yeah so with this you can allocate uh, a separate memory for each and every uh, js file which includes this module let us modify the user a file so now this module as a function so we have to get the state for the object where user a equal to user so a dot name equal to same here equal to require sorry be equal to user i haven't made any change to the app.js file so this is the output of a previous uh, video uh, which is the shared state of node modules now let us run this particular application so so as you see the user a.js file and the user b.js file has allocated their own individual memories. So this particular pattern is known as object factory in Node.js. Um, so in the upcoming videos we'll be seeing how to create a basic server with the help of Node.js. As everyone knows Node.js is mostly used for web development. So that's it guys. Uh, thank you. Just like and subscribe.